This is the daily update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, January 22nd, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We're talking all this week about the, the interplay between Martin Luther King and Lyndon Baines Johnson, and also the interplay more generally between activists and institutionalists of community organizers and elected officials. And that neither one is really fully able to meet their, their highest and best use without the other in some ways. The question is, is not just a historical one. The question is, what does that mean for us right now? Because this is a moment, not unlike moments 50 years ago, where, where activists really had a big agenda, have a big agenda, and there's a transition in politics in Washington, D.C. That is a, a moment rich with opportunity, but also rich with danger. Because what could happen is open warfare between um, activists who want um, who want their vision realized, and institutionalists who say, that's a great vision, but we, we don't have the votes for it. That is a really easy place for miscommunication and bad feelings to last for a long, long time. Each group becoming disappointed with the other, the activists saying these politicians don't follow their conscience, and the, the politicians saying these activists don't have an understanding of what we can do and what our commitments are. So how do we avoid doing that? I think, I think part of it is just recognizing that there are complementary roles. That while we can work with other folks who share the same end goal as we do, our commitments in the moment might be different. Our constituencies might be different in the moment. And for us, us, the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, remembering that we are actually not either of those groups. We're not elected officials, most of us, nor are we full-time activists. We are, we are instead, when we speak collectively, a religious institution, and that actually has a role separate from either the political institutionalists or the activists. We are called to be a prophetic church. That is who we will always be saying clearly, morally, here is a thing that we know is right, here is a thing that we know is wrong. And sometimes we don't actually care that how you fix it, we care that you fix it. That's a big part of who we are. But the other piece of being a church is that we are part of an institution that goes back 150 years. And so churches as institutions can often be thought of as, as small c conservative. It, churches don't change quickly. And so within our own institution, we have this tension between the prophetic and the institutionalist. And so as we speak in the public square and as we think about this, this broader debate going on between a new administration who maybe isn't as progressive as some would like and an activist group. I think we have something to say for that relationship. I think we, we understand that dynamic because that dynamic is us. More on that in the next couple days. For now, have a great weekend. Um, I'll see you on Sunday.